One of the most important uh, new developments in mobility in Europe is uh, certainly our thrive for CO2 uh, emission free mobility. This will bring developments and innovations into the mobility sector in uh, the whole of Europe. But what we need is not the single answer for every kind of mobility. We need new solutions uh, for especially the maritime and the aviation sector where it's even more uh, difficult uh, to reduce CO2 emissions uh, than on the other sectors. Especially in the personal mobility we will see new developments uh, like uh, car sharing uh, on the one hand that already exist in, uh, uh, in a lot of cities but even in rural areas uh, we will have car sharing models uh, that will be attractive uh, for the people. We will have to develop new urban uh, mobility and uh, have better connections uh, between the mobility in the cities with tubes and buses uh, and those that are in more uh, rural areas. So new uh, solutions uh, for all modes of transport. And we will have a revolution uh, with the digitization and automatization of uh, vehicles. We see this already. Uh, vehicles are already existing and working. For example, farmers are using them uh, already. But even in our personal uh, individual transport modes, those developments will be revolutionary and will be uh, bring us a new quality uh, of uh, traveling. So in all, it's about innovation, it's about technology, and it's about uh, using those innovations and technologies to promote uh, mobility for the people in order to uh, foster and strengthen uh, the possibilities that we have at the moment in order to find for everybody and for every use case uh, the best solution that's possible. And that's by using innovations and not by deciding from a political point of view which is the best way forward.